Hello everybody, I'm Dave51 and today we're going to have some fun with this German beast of a tank, the VK452B. And we're going to highlight uh, the main feature of this beast, which are the frontal armor and the gun of course. So you may have already seen this replay on YouTube on this game's channel, so big thank you to this games for featuring this game on his show. And definitely check it out, it's a lot of fun, I'll give you the link in the description. Talking about the game, uh, playing on Karelia, very good matchup because only 3 tier 9 tanks on each side and more important, there's no freaking artillery, thanks god. Because you don't really want to drive such a slow fat machine with artillery around. Yes, uh, when I played this I was trying to achieve the final heavy tank mission for the T-55A so I had to do a total damage block received and uh, done of 12,000 and I had to win the game as well. But this is a pretty good time for uh, this kind of missions. So hopefully we can try to do that in this game and we are just about to Engage our first opponent, the Yak Panther, but we missed the shot like that. It wasn't completely aimed, but uh, you know the penetration and the accuracy and also the aiming time on this thing are quite uh, average, so you don't really expect to eat every shot. There you go, another example. You don't want to snipe uh, anything more or less because uh, you don't, you're not going to be very effective at distance, you want to keep this thing from short to medium range and uh, when needed aim for a weak spot and uh, do a lot of damage because the alpha is 490 and the rate of fire is uh, still okay for such a high alpha damage gun. And now we are trying to hit the turret roof of the IS-3 and overmatch it probably beca because it's like, uh, not, not sure but should be like 30 millimeters or so, so if we can hit it, it's auto pen. And we still have to do a single point of damage but we've already bounced quite a lot of shells. So talking about the armor. Uh, very very good overall, frontally 200mm the hull, well sloped, uh, you're not going to pen this thing with less than 300mm of penetration. Unless you shoot that uh, little viewport on the front, that little square, but it's very difficult to hit. The turret is weaker because it's 252mm, completely flat, so the tortoise shows us that it doesn't really need to aim for the optics. And uh, here I, I bounced I think with my gun, you can always try to do that, uh, put your gun in the way when the, they are aiming at your optics, so you can bounce quite a lot of shots. But yeah, the optics are the main uh, big weak spot of this thing frontally. If you are engaging one of those, uh, aim for the optics unless you have 280 plus penetration in my opinion. And if you have that, aim for the, for the turret. You don't really want to angle this tank very much, but just to highlight this fact, the Black Prince is dead. And I'm alone against 6 enemies, so what the hell are you doing there, just trap me, go around me, get my side, kill me in about 20 seconds. Um, it's not that difficult, but of course, no, they are not doing that. And that's that's what you need, really, you, you don't want people to shoot at your side armor because it's 100mm and it's completely flat, it's bad. If you angle this thing even slightly, they can pen you and track you at the same time. That's a critical thing. And uh, look, they just go around me, you are fucking 5 tanks. 
We killed the Centurion because he was on low health and he had a dangerous gun. And believe it or not, the only tank which actually tries to go around us is the Yak Panther, of course, tier 7, non turtle tank destroyer. Pretty useless attempt mate, but he was the bravest of my opponents. GG. As you can see, uh, in a close quarters engagement you can aim for weak spots like that. And now the Yak Tiger 88 has arrived, so everybody's shooting him. Now look at this. The T32 fend us and tracked us at the same time. Look at the angle. You don't really want to angle this thing very much against, uh, especially against tier 7 8 opponents, which uh, don't stand a chance to pen your hole or even the turret if they don't need the optics. So we are going to ignore the Yak Panther because it's not uh, that much of a problem and we're going to focus on the IS-3 and the Yak Panther 2 which is somewhere around this rock. IS-3 down. Yak Panther 88, much more valuable gun, so that's the number one priority right now. He's down as well, and the tortoise fans us once more. Very dangerous gun. But he's down anyway because we can aim for that huge cupola or whatever it is. And look at the graveyard, just everybody's dead here. And we are still alive and we have 600 health, so we can uh, take shot from that IS-8. Now, I, uh, I didn't fire single APCR ammo here, because uh, why should I buy? No real need. 240 something penetration is more than enough to aim for weak spot. And look at this shot, how the hell did I only track him? But it's fine because uh, he bounced, we can still take a shot, he misses anyway, so we are free to kill him with our first APCR just to secure the top gun. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this the amount of punishment that this thing can take is astonishing. Of course you need some luck and look at that fucking hacker VK because of course if you can't uh, hit the weak spot of your opponent, he is automatically an hacker. Well, thank you. Now, any any moment now, the T29 on the other side is going to die, and it's going to be pretty nice victory. GG. So here we go with the post-game stats and uh, Ace Tanker, some minor medals, Steel Wall, uh, quite predictable, High Caliber and Top Gun. But the real question is, did we achieve our mission, Heavy Tank Mission 15 and hell yes we did, only looking at the damage blocked by armor, 12,100, that's not something I can do every day. And uh, so yeah, look at this, 40, it's received only 5 penetrations including probably the HE shells and a tiny profit as well without the premium account. So top of the team 5700 damage, 1400 base experience and uh, very very good. So here I just briefly wanted to highlight that a couple of guys sent me messages after the battle congratulating for my game. So this shows you that not 100% of the post-game messages are like I hope your PC will explode and you'll die, stupid noob. No, there's some, some nice guys out there. So thank you very much, but I didn't do that much myself. No Unicom tactics involved here, just quite a lot of luck. And not with my, my gun performance actually, because uh, I missed a lot of shots, even decently aimed, but uh, about the attitude of my opponents who let me 
do whatever he wanted and didn't flank me and that's why we won the battle probably. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did leave the like down below and I'll see you on the battlefield.